Now let's start with the third section of this paper with the very first question which belongs to chapter waves. Now here a musical instrument is made using four different metal strings 1, 2, 3 and 4 with mass per unit length as mu, 2 mu, 3 mu and 4 mu respectively. The instrument is played by vibrating the strings by varying the free length in between the range of L0 and 2L0. It is found that in string 1 at free length of L0 the tension is T0 and the fundamental frequency is F0. The list 1 gives the above 4 strings while list 2 lists the magnitude of some quantity. So here is the list we have. We have to match these accordingly. And here is the question with us that if the tension in each string is T0, the correct match for the highest fundamental frequency in F0 units will be. So let's start with the solution. For this you should know the formula first for the fundamental frequency. So F0 would be 1 upon 2 L0 under root T0 by mu. This would be the frequency for first wire. Now for the second wire you will say F2 would be equal to 1 upon 2 L0 T0 by 2 mu0. For the third wire it would be 1 upon 2 L0 T0 by 3 mu0 and similarly for the fourth one that is F4 would be 1 upon 2 L0 under root T0 upon 4 mu0. The highest of these frequencies of the four wires will be at length of L0 only the minimum length possible. And with this combination the relations can be easily mapped as so 1 will be this for 2 it would be this for 3 it would be this and for 4 it will be this one. So with the matching 1 to P, 2 to R, 3 to S and 4 to Q. Let's see which is the best suited options. So as you can see here option A is the correct answer to this question. I hope you have understood this very well. Now let's move on to our next question. Now this is the second part of the same question we have understood for the same setup. Now there's a different demand here. Let's see what the question demands. In here the length of the strings 1, 2, 3 and 4 are kept fixed at these respective lengths. The strings 1, 2, 3 and 4 are vibrated at their first, third, fifth and fourteenth harmonics respectively such that all the strings have same frequency this time. The correct match for the tensions in the four strings unit is. So now at this time say you have same frequency but different tension and we need to map those in terms of T0. So let's write the equations for them first. So for the first wire, if I write, it's the first harmonic, I'll write F0 is equals to 1 upon 2 L0 under root T1 by mu. Here T1 is equals to T0, right? Now when you write about the second wire, which is in the third harmonic, so it will be 3 upon 2 into what was the length for that? So the length for this is 3 L0 by 2. So you just put down the value 3 L0 by 2 under root of T2 by 2 mu. When you find this, this will be equal to T0 by 2 because both the frequencies are same. Similarly, when you go for the third one, that is fifth harmonic one, so this is 2 into 5 L0 by 4 under root T3 upon 3 mu0. You will find that this is equals to 3 T0 by 16. And similarly, from here you will get F0 which was equals to 14th harmonic so 2 into 7 L0 by 4 under root of T4 by 4 mu0. From here you will get that the T4 is equals to T0 by 16. So from comparing the equations we have found that T2 is equal to T0 by 2. Here T3 is equals to T0 3 T0 by 16 and T4 is equals to T0 by 16. With these, let's have the mapping here among the list. So this string will be 1. For this, it would be 2. For this, it would be 3 by 16. And for this, it would be this. So 1 to P, 2 to Q, 3 to T and 4 to U. Let's see which is the best suited option. So among the four options given to us, yes, option number 2 would be the right answer to this 
क्वेश्चन आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड इट वेल नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू अर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री 